Hello everyone, this is Stonewall, and welcome to my modded Minecraft world. Alright, now before I show you what's in front of me, this is exactly where I spawned in in this world. We're going to look at the mod list. Alright, so I basically took the FTB Inventions pack and I disabled one mod and added a few more. So the mod I disabled was uh, the Village Trading Ban. I'm not exactly sure why that one was in here, uh, unless some people were afraid that that uh, combined with the uh, equivalent exchange would make it a little bit overpowered. I'm not sure if that was the thought behind that or not, but I still like to be able to trade with villagers. So what I added was down here. Let's see. I added extra TIC. Tinker's Construct was not originally in this pack, and it's one of my favorites for tools. Um, so I added Tinker's Construct and a couple of mods that go with it. And then one other mod that wasn't in here was Extra Utilities. All right, so I added Extra Utilities. Open Blocks was already in here, um, but here's just a little run through of some of the mods in this pack. Immersive engineering I haven't done much with. I've done a little bit with industrial craft. Java is really good for storage. Iron chest as well. Uh, journey map. I don't think I'd want to play much modern Minecraft without journey map. It is awesome. Uh, that and of course Wayla really make modded or in any eye uh, make modern Minecraft playable. <laughs> Without any eye, things like that, it would be so hard to figure out everything. You'd have to keep up about uh, 20 tabs open on the on your internet browser to keep track of how to make things. Pneumatic craft I haven't done much with. I've seen some played uh, with that. Schematica, uh, jetpacks, solar expansion, so solar power generation, thermal expansion. Uh, dynamics and foundation that I have played with some. Uh, TIC tooltips give you some extra information whenever you're looking at Tinker's Construct stuff. Um, but yeah, Tree Capitator automatically takes out the trees if you break the bottom block. And that's about it. Um, so yeah, so it's a decent mod pack. I tried a bigger one, but my computer really just couldn't handle it. Uh, the F2B Infinity Pack was just a little bit much for this PC. So the computer I'm playing on has a um, Core i5 processor and integrated graphics. There's no extra graphics card. It's just a uh, Dell and Spiron uh, laptop. So it's not much of a gaming PC. So anyways, let me show you this world we spawned into. And <laughs> this is exactly where I spawned. So over here we've got a uh, little volcano right next to a village, and it happens to be a blacksmith. So let's go see what we got. I'm sorry for the frame rates. This is kind of rough. All right. Really? <laughs> Steel. Yes. So, wow. All right. So I'm going to put on the iron helmet. I'm going to leave the steel chest plate because we can melt down melt that down to make some really good tools and stuff. A little bit of food, but that steel is really nice because it takes a little bit after getting started to be able to get that. So let's, uh, let's see what we got in this village. Uh, nothing in here. Any, no beehives. And I don't really have any blocks to do that. What do we got? Uh, arrows. Uh, well, that's interesting. Surface quartz. <laughs> yeah, emeralds for leather. Not really the greatest. Uh, no, I can make that on my own. Thank you. Alright. So I'm gonna... Excuse me, Mr. Mother. I'm gonna explore this village a little bit. See what we can find. So my field of view is set on 90. So it's a little bit wider than normal. It's not quite what some people play on. It's relatively tame compared to that. Uh, but anyways. Ah, come on now. There we go. Well, 
that's an interesting <laughs> formation. I guess the villagers don't want to come out. Uh, there's none back here. already have a tinker's smeltery set up. Let's see, is there anything in here worth going after? Not really. So, a railcraft building probably has an engine in it and maybe a machine. Let's see, yep. Rolling machine. And coal coke, really good fuel. Uh, rails. Up. If I do some stuff with Railcraft, I'll probably come back for that. Um, Alright. I guess first thing is I need to get some tools going. So I can actually collect that. Uh... Oh, nice. That is pretty. <clears throat> so I can collect that smeltery. That will save me a lot of time getting some stuff set up. I'm hoping at some point to get a uh, actual gaming PC to play on so I can do a little bit better quality stuff. But for right now, I, I still enjoy playing on this one. I might actually cut out a lot of this uh, first preparation because if you've watched many Minecraft videos at all, you've seen this over and over and over again. Alright, so there it is. <laughs> Went ahead and picked up both sets of casting tables and basins. The only thing I'm missing now is I need to get some, uh, some brick to make drains and uh, a controller and tank. Have a really good size smeltery setup. Alright, so let's see. It's about to get dark soon. I'm gonna move away from this village a little bit and uh, see if I can find a place to pull up for the night. Alright, so I found this little bit of a cave. It's kind of open. But I uh, went ahead and stored away all the steel and some of the better stuff that I looted from that village. I'm going to see if I can kind of block out a little bit. And we're back. So, if you've never played with Tinker's Construct, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on it. So, every tool, every tool is made up of multiple parts. Um... So, for instance, if I'm going to build a pickaxe, I have to have a pickaxe head, a tool binding, and a tool rod. You can just use a stick, or you can actually use bones for that, or you can make one out of stone or some other material. Alright, so, in order to make a lot of these parts, you have to make a, uh, take a blank pattern, go to the stencil table, and let's say I'm going to make, uh... So let's say I want to make a sword. Alright, so I take and select a sword blade pattern and take this. Now, I've got a couple options whenever I make a sword. So I've got the broadsword, which is just like the um, the vanilla Minecraft sword. You can right click to block, similar damage profile. The long sword has a different uh, guard here. And if you hold right click and let it go, then you'll lunge forward. And if you can strike at that point, it'll give you a little bit of an attack boost. Almost like a critical hit. Then you've got the rapier, which uh, 
has a couple of other abilities, so it doesn't do quite as much damage per hit, but you strike a little bit faster with it, and it has a tendency to pierce through armor and damage the mods and it, the mobs and ignore the armor. Uh, I've actually never made one, so I think I'm going to do that. So for that, you can see we need a different guard than what we needed for the others. So let's make one of those. This crossbar. Right. So to build the parts themselves, you have to use the part builder. So to use the part builder, you put in, let's say I'm just going to make a stone sword. You put in the material, and you can put in more than what you need for it. Uh, but you put in the material with the pattern, and you can pull out the items. So then for the crossbar, this only requires 0.5 material, and a piece of cobblestone counts as one. So you wind up with these little extra stone shards, which count as half. Uh, so I'm going to make me a rip here, and you just put in the items here. And there we go, stone rapier. Piece of cake. Now if you notice, it only has two attack damage. Alright. And I've actually never made one of these before. <laughs> so if you hold right click, you hop backwards. It's kind of funny. Alright, so most of the time I actually make a long sword, but I figured I'd try something different. So let's make us a few tools. I gotta get the stone shard out of there so you can that way and an axe all right so shovel and axe i'm gonna just drop these in my hot bar so this tool station is kind of limited later on you get a tool forge and it unlocks a few more uh special weapons and tools so one of my favorites is the hammer. It does a uh, three by three area of mining. All right, had a little bit of a freeze there. So something else I'm kind of wanting to make just for the fun of it is a frying pan. All right, these are kind of funny. Um, I need a few more sticks. So frying pan is just the pan and a handle. All right, so. I'll see if I can find somebody to hit that's not gonna just wreck my face. Right. This is a really good tool to use on creepers uh, because it has knockback and slowness effects. So whenever you hit somebody with it, and especially creepers, you can get out of their range a lot easier. I guess they're below me somewhere. Might be a cave. It looks like a cave system here. I'll have to check that out. Some copper. Uh, there's a tree growing down there. Yeah, I'll have to explore some of that. And here's a skeleton. So it doesn't really work the greatest on skeletons because they need range to do any good. Ooh, I'm lucky. <laughs> that was close. I think I've got a helmet on, right? Uh, <laughs> so that was not a really good example of how good this pan is. But the other thing is, if I can get out of here, you can lay the pan down and cook food in it, uh, which is kind of kind of a neat little thing if you don't want to set down a uh, furnace or something like that. So. I've still got this stone pickaxe. It's not gonna last long though. Just gonna go. Let's try out this rapier. Where do you go? It must be further in. Yep, there he is. And it looks like something. Okay. Because this guy doesn't have any armor on. So you see the particle effects for the slowness. And stone stone doesn't do much damage, but later we'll have quite a few, or some very powerful items. Uh, if I can get enough Enderium, 
to make some weapons out of that. That stuff is stout. So if I look up, uh, some Enderium tools, if this thing will listen, there we go. So for instance, the frying pan I've got, that's just stone. It's plus three attack damage. This is plus 18. So in my little test world, where I kind of figured out which mods I wanted and that kind of thing, I made a few bolts for a crossbow out of Enderium. And I was one-shotting everything. Um, I mean, it, it didn't matter if, if it was a zombie with armor, anything like that. Whoa. This is awful. Wow, is there a spawn down there? Or is it just... Okay, I got it. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> I love being able to use knockback on this. Now, there are some, like the, uh, I think the scythe. It's a little bit higher tier weapon that does a area of effect. Uh, so it it's kind of useful whenever you're getting swamped like that. <clears throat> so let's get back to my little cave and make a few more tools. Might do a bit of mining. I'll be back in just a little bit. Come on, get out of here. Come on. Oh. Okay, that was not skill. That was luck. <laughs> Alright, so I was down here mining a bit and came across a bunch of skeletons. There's a creeper. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna die. Alright, so this is gonna be rough. I'll be back whenever I've got my stuff. <laughs> and we're back. This is one of the things I love about modern Minecraft gravestones. <laughs> should be good for now. So I'm picking up a little bit of this bauxite and that that's kind of the replacement for the aluminum ore. Uh, let's put a torch back down. So one of the ways I kind of keep track of uh, where I am and everything and when I'm caving is anytime I can I try to put the torches on the left hand side. It's, it's just a habit I've kind of developed. It's it's I didn't read it anywhere, I just started doing it so I could figure out which direction I was headed. Lovely freeze there. Alright, got some more of this. And of course with Journey Map I can kind of keep an eye on uh, nearby mobs, but as we get deeper into caves and things like that, it becomes really nice to uh, to be able to find other caves. So if I start branch mining and things like that, all right, we got some iron and some warberry bushes. Nice. So I'm just kind of going through here. Whoa! I don't think I even saw any of that uh, in my test world. I guess I just didn't across any of it. And make sure I can get back out. <laughs> Just in case I run into another creeper. Right, let's get a few more torches. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and turn the rest of this into torches. Yeah. Alright, some 
Curtis Quartz, and some Tinker's Aluminum. So it's kind of funny because you can do the same processes and stuff on the Tinker's Aluminum as you can the Bauxite from the other mods. <coughs> Let's pick up some Quartz. That'll be good if we decide to... Well, actually, I think you can apply this to some of the Tinker's weapons. So, for Tinkers, instead of enchanting your weapons with an enchantment table or something like that, you add materials to them. For instance, you add lapis to give uh, luck or looting and fortune. Um, redstone gives you haste, which is the same as efficiency. Um, and then quartz you add, which basically gives sharpness. Uh, there's a few others. You add a, a mossy, a ball of moss to uh, give it the mossy modifier. And what that does is it, over time, the uh, tool or the weapon will regain durability. Nice. And, yeah. Charge, charge, corpse. And one of the nice things is up at the top, you see the uh, Wayla, which stands for what am I looking at. Um, it tells you the harvest level of all the materials. So I can look at that and see harvest level redstone. I only have harvest level iron for a stone tool. So I need to make some better tools to be able to harvest that. Otherwise it won't drop the block. It'll just destroy it. Uh, but yeah. So it's kind of funny. I think there's bauxite from two different mods. And this one is a harder uh, mining level, or a higher mining level. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to do that. I'll pick these up and I'll try to find a place for these. I don't know if any of the automatic farming equipment will uh, harvest those. I haven't messed with that yet. Um, so th part of the reason I didn't have any of those in my other world, I just broke my pick. The other thing about Tinker's tools is they don't actually break and go away. You just can't use them until you repair them. Uh, which is pretty nice. You can keep the same tools and upgrade them as you go. Alright, so I'm going to head back up to the surface. Get me out of here. Alright, so where is my little cave? I think it's up here. And it's getting daylight. <clears throat> village looks pretty cool and here we are back in the cave all right so I'll kind of get a feel for uh, what you guys like to see I know there's not very many of you right now um, oh. there <laughs> pick. but anyways I'll get a feel for what you like to see how much you like to see uh, cut out or if you want me to put everything I do on camera um that's fine and of course it's raining but anyways yeah I will see you in another video